Hello, everybody, and welcome to the MCRAT Talk Show, episode number five. And before I get started, I just really want to make a huge apology to all of you guys because it's been a while since I last made these episodes. Basically, I've been so busy because I've been, you know, getting prepped for releasing my new album, which will be released in about two weeks. And then, you know, getting ready for more um, speeches about autism to elementary schools. And I already did one earlier this coming this week, and it's on my YouTube channel now, of the Autism Awareness Assembly at Rock City Elementary School. So if you haven't listened to it, make sure you take a look at it. So anyway, today I really want to talk about um, fear. And basically everybody has a certain type of fear. And I have one fear. But some other one, there's other ones, but I can't really remember them. But the main fear I really have is I'm, af I'm afraid of dogs. I'm afraid of dogs throughout my whole entire life. And the one thing I find really surprising, it's no offense, but I'm surprised a lot of people like dogs. Like, you know, when they, you know, like you, like, like that. I don't, I just don't get why people like that. Like, for me, I find that very disgusting. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I don't like dogs so much, because they lick and it's just so disgusting. And also when they sniff, it's so disgusting. It's like, it's like you're spreading germs almost. almost. Anyway, I know, but the, the main fear that most of the people I know are fear, afraid of are spiders. And actually, I'm not really that scared of spiders, because all I really do is just step on them, and they're done, and they're killed. And I don't know why people are like screaming at me when they're when I try to like when I try to kill them, you know? Because they're like, "Okay, I'm keeping you safe, you know. Don't scream anymore. It's killed." And then people still are screaming because they're seeing a dead spider, which is like they're not. It's not bleeding for God's sake. Anyway, like fear is people just need to get used to it. Like you know, if people are if friends that you know are scared of something. Don't be super surprised. Like, that's why I said no offense to those that, are, that I'm surprised about, like, for stuff like this. But anyway, it's like, you sh you know, like, you, can you just can't be surprised. You, you just can't be super surprised that people are scared or something. Like, I don't want you guys to all be very surprised that I'm scared of dogs. And, they're, and I don't want you to be like, oh, you're, I want you to like dogs. But I'm a cat person. I really love cats. They're really calm, relaxed. And most of the cats I know that I've seen, they have like you know soft fur. That to pet. I I love petting cats, of course. But dogs, it's just not my thing because they're just basically you know very energetic. Most of the dogs I've seen, and they bark so much it scares the shit out of me. But it's it's very crazy because I just, I always have to back up until it, someone tries to hide it somewhere where I can't get access besides the dog. So that's what happens to me when I'm in someone's place I know. And if I ever hear, if they tell me that they have a dog, I always have to tell them to hide it somewhere in a safe place for them. Where I can't get access to having them, you know, licking me uh, and, you know, sniffing. <laughs> And all that. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about because it's a good way for you guys to learn fear, especially from me, because not just because I'm autistic, but basically just by you know how everyone gets fears, and you, you know you want everybody has a fear. It's not just like it's not just it couldn't be just everybody. Sometimes people are fearless. There's some people out there that are fearless, like you know they have no fear. They could just they could try anything. But I'm not that person. I'm just a, I'm a fear of dogs. And that's all the, that's all I can live with. It's just a fear of dogs. And I don't really care because I don't even want to have a dog in my life. Or anything. So this is all I really want to say for this episode. So we hope you guys all enjoy this. And by the way, if you um, have a watch at my autism awareness speech. Just a few days ago. Make sure you have a listen to it if you haven't already. Thank you very much.